Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Hidden Figures tells the story of three trailblazing women in the space program in Langley, Virginia in the 1950s and 60s. At a time when the world was focused so intently on advancing the human race toward ever greater literal heights, the very organizations that were racing towards this progress, namely NASA, were also very slow in making the necessary adjustments towards advancing the human race in their own facilities. But these three women, these hidden figures, shattered glass ceilings of all stripes to be the first African-American female NASA supervisor, the first African-American female engineer, and the woman who calculated the trajectories for the greatest space missions in history, including the moon landing. Now, I've got to tell you right at the beginning, I love movies like this. Movies that tell stories about unsung historical heroes, especially when they're made well, and hidden figures is certainly made well. This movie has the good sense not to take its subject too seriously. As a result, it is not a story about racism or sexism, really. Don't get me wrong, uh, the racism and sexism are there, but the focus is never on outright cruelty or humiliation. Lord knows we've got plenty of those kind of movies if you're into that sort of thing. Instead, Hidden Figures is about the suffering caused by institutional bigotry, the casual, lazy nature with which people dismissed the basic humanity of large groups of people, whether it be women or people of color or both, and the human ingenuity and passion and pure optimism that helped turn the tide of social justice. As a result, it gets to be that rarest of civil rights movies. It gets to be fun. I recall thinking to myself during one of the numerous scenes featuring Taraji P. Henson's Katherine Johnson running somewhere, that seriously, if you want a fun drinking game, just take a drink every time someone in this movie is running or walking with purpose to a classic R&B song. Warning, you will need to call an Uber to take you home. Anyway, there's a scene in which Johnson has to run from her desk in the elite building where she works doing insane trajectory calculations with all of the top mathematicians in the world, clear across campus, about half a mile away, in the rain, holding those very important calculations over her head as cover, just so she could use the colored women's restroom. And I thought to myself, huh, I don't think I've ever seen racial segregation played for laughs before, but it totally works. It makes the point, but it still entertains and simultaneously inspires you to see this woman whose intelligence and ability rivals that of anyone else in the country at that time, maintaining her dignity in the face of a society that would seek to strip it from her. Throughout this enjoyable film, we follow three plucky, determined women who never give up and always assert themselves with grace and unwavering optimism. Their biggest ambition doesn't even seem to be racial or gender equality. To these characters, who mostly resist the urge to speechify about things like tolerance or bigotry, their main ambition seems to be that of the rest of America at that time. They want to help put a man in space. And after that, they want to help put a man on the moon. And they insist on being part of the team that will do it, while living in a society that tells them, sometimes directly, that they aren't really allowed to. Even though no one can give them a much better reason than, well, that's just the way it is. You know, deal with it. And that reason sucks. So they just do it. They do the math. They learn on their own time. They pick up a piece of chalk and start writing their work for all to see. They get the schooling that they need, even if it's at a school they're not yet allowed to attend. Or if the book they need isn't in the public library's colored section. They figure out a way and they just do it. Now this is what our young people need to see. This is the sort of optimism that put us on the moon, people. Hidden Figures is a charming, unassuming, and mostly unpreachy film that never outstays its welcome. You can enjoy it whether you know anything about math or science or whether movies about activism just aren't your cup of tea and you prefer more escapist entertainment. Large bag of popcorn for this true tale about some fascinating trailblazers that makes for a great night out. And you know, I'll just say this, it's a really good date movie too. And it remains light and breezy throughout its entire running time. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us by clicking subscribe while you're there. And by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on hidden figures in the comments as well. So please let me know. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. And I see fine in any color.